Oh yeah, if I complete a stay for two guests, I get a pair of pants. Ah, there's my guests. Look at them. Move faster. Get in there. Enjoy your stay, dang it. I mean, enjoy your stay, dang it. Why are they at the desk? Is the desk fucking backwards? God damn it. I thought it was the other way around. Let's go explore south. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That's like way further south. What the fuck? They weren't kidding about how far south it is. It's like desert now. What the heck? An interesting location. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. The washing machine. Oh, wait. Wait, I could take it through the wall? I feel like I just cheated and I can't. I'm not supposed to be able to do that. <gasps> Treasure chest. <gasps> no fucking way. Yo, jukebox? What? Yo, I actually got the jukebox. Let's go. <laughs> I wanted one and I'm so glad I didn't buy one because I just got it for free. Nice. What is this? Claire. Oh, God. Uh... Okay, so the other rat is like um, Godfather. So who should she be? Not there either. Uh, hmm. A anyone got a good voice for her? Any anyone? I'm your fucking dumbass. That's fair. That's fair. You lost those perms when you became a mod. <laughs> anyone got a voice for Claire? What what voice should I give her? Or maybe like a... Not there either. Either skips town again. Or is lining a ditch somewhere. I don't know. I don't really have a read on her character just yet. That boy couldn't tell his tail hole from his mouth hole. But he wouldn't bail. Not on us. Uh-oh, 10 o'clock, chief. That's the best I got for now. Unless someone in chat gives me an idea. What a surprise. Our hefty entrepreneur. They're a problem, boss. No, not yet anyways. How'd you find the trip, Hank? I don't think I told you my name. You didn't have to. I knew it before your mother did. I don't think she knew, sir. Ah, uh, ah, didn't name me. The air is real thin up there, ain't it? Sure is. I didn't catch your name. That's cause I don't throw it around. It's on a need-to-know basis. Need-to-know basis. Well, I kinda need to know. You won't get far with that attitude, kid. Anyways, I'm Anton. I'll run the place. What place? <laughs> that face gets me every time. Oh, they actually, it actually changes based off the clothes you're wearing. That's cool. Ah! What place? This place! Everything. The stench touches. Listen, you haven't earned all of these questions yet. My collaborators up north says you're uh, up to something good. Bringing people back up in the valley. That's good news for everyone, but we got a problem. One of my crew went missing three nights ago. Claire will fill you in. We lost Wade at approximately 9 p.m. near the Black Moss border. We were out here doing our scavenging runs, and I negotiated a particularly uh, heavy piece of scrap. Ten seconds later, I turned around and there was no Wade. Just the low hiss of the swamp. You have any idea what happened to him? Why is Hank having... Why is Hank blushing? No, 
but you will. I'll make you a deal. You need me and my dump to get your little venture up and running. Otherwise, you'll run around for scrap and die of old age before your first customer sets foot in the place. Dude, I'm already on four customers. What are you fucking talking about? I'll let you keep any scrap you find in here if you gets us way back. We suspect somewhere in Black Moss. That's where I'd check first. I wouldn't be sitting around if I was you. I don't really know what voice to give Claire, to be honest. Also, I can just take all the scrap I want, so... Looks like a good place to hide a body. <laughs> Why would you say that, Hank? I don't know how to use that yet. Oh no, what the hell? Come one, come all to the annual celebration. Then, then, join the joyous jubilation and celebrate the things that make life worth living. Our special offer and exclusive discounts. You're not Finn. Of course I am. I am Terry Finn. Because I get up every day just feeling Terry Finn. You're a different kind of annoying. So is it Terry or Finn? Having two first names is an egregious marketing offense that only leads to customer confusion. Parental advice material should include branding guidelines. I'm always saying that. No, you're not Hank. My name is conveniently picked by a committee of advertising specialists based on current cultural and Pun friendly trends. Uh, has nature intended? On Voyage would like to commemorate this very sad yet lucrative lucrative past year by bringing you the festive the festive winter spirit in purchasable form. Is it because it's like okay? Well, I am a sucker for little festive versions of everyday things. Oh my fucking god. <gasps> Red flappy hat! A polar sweater for a bear? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is how I get to the other section. Okay. Hey, Robert, how's it going? Are you playing this game just because it has a bear in the title? Uh, mostly, but also it was free on the Epic Game Store. And frankly, I needed a very chill game for this month, so... Uh, yeah, all of the above. But boy, is it testing my voice acting skills. My very, very limited voice acting skills, let me tell you. I'm trying to do a voice for every character, and I didn't realize how many there would be. There's moss all over it. I'm sure you're working up a lot of videos for the new update. This will be your next speedrun game? No. No, I have very select few games I speedrun. I don't even know what other games I would be willing to speedrun. Yep. I used to speedrun Celeste, I miss speedrun Celeste. Oh, cool! I didn't know that. I haven't played Celeste yet, but I also have it on the Epic Game Store because it was free. I know it's a good game. I just I haven't gotten around to it. No fucking way. There's an a there's a crocodile. What? What? It's a wizard. Huh. Hello? Charlotte the crocodile. Oh, uh, what voice do I give Charlotte? Oh, not this again. Oh, I I'll do like the raspy smoker voice. How about that? 
Oh no, not this again. I swear on my tail. What happened this time? Stuck a hand down the drain pipe. <clears throat> oh my god, that's gonna fucking hurt. Holy crap. <clears throat> Bad mushrooms. I heard a noise coming from these trees. Oh no, I was just looking. Cause I hate to break it. Yeah. All trees make noise. That's pretty much all they do. And they sure as hell ain't doing it for you. I'm sorry to bother you, ma'am. I'm just looking for a friend. A friend? Here. Happy hour ain't what it used to be. He's pretty small and I think he got lost. I'm worried something happened to him. Small? How small are we talking? Cause small things don't last a lot of time around here. Unless you mean shelf life. Oh gosh, no. It's a rat. His name is Wade. Oh, crickets. Something came looking for that thing? You should be paying me rent. Yeah, I know where your Wade is, unfortunately. Come inside. In inside? Oh, don't go all brave on me. You're too big for my cauldron anyways. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I need to I need two other voices. That. Alright, I need some Tintin looking rat and um a tadpole looking fella. Oh, okay. I just make him. Uh. What if I make Wade German? And then, just before we hit the, uh, just before the tire hit, Boss pulled up, and his cane and smacked it out of the way. Oh golly! Oh god. Oh, no, I'll do the annoying Tucker voice for, uh, that Vine Sauce does. Oh, God. No, mm. Oh, golly. And then what happened? Oh, no, no. Hold on, hold on. I gotta do the, um... What if I do a Morty voice? Oh, golly. And and then what happened? We got the piece and scrammed. Wow. And what was it like? The thing... Oh, you you mean the little old artifact that yours truly sniffled out less than uh, in less than an hour? Only just about the rustiest cl cataclysmic comforter you've ever seen. Whoa, it stank too, real bad. I think a cockroach lived in it before we found it. Whoa. Twig, what I'd say about liaising with the criminal. Criminal? There. Yes, um, ma'am. Sorry, ma'am. Besides, we have a guest. A rather unusual one at that. Wade, are you Wade? Hello. I mean, no, I'm not. Yes, he is. A festery nosy pest that can't keep his tail out of other people's business. I was prepping him for pickling. Need to know. His tiny bones make for great feather holders. Oh my god. No, no, you were not. You just said you didn't know how to get rid of him. Just child. Who wants to know? I'm on a mission. It get you back to the dump. It's... Your boss is horrid sick. You talk to Miss... Uh, I'm not even doing German anymore, fuck. You talk to Mr. A? Well, more like slightly preoccupied. Can't believe he sent someone after me. Yeah, he told me to bring you back. And he'd let me use the dump. 
so I can get more humans in the valley. He never lets any outsider in the dump. Must be something special, mister. Well, let's not get too hasty, Mr. Special. This rat isn't leaving this place just like that. But she said you wanted him gone. Of course I do. Now you want to take him. So there's value of circumstance. I ran out of charcoal lilies for my pickly jar. Won't find him anywhere else but black moss. Maybe the bird brain at A24 has some for sale. Just get some here anyways. Uh, okay. Bring me back a few. I'll see about jailbreaking your newfound friend. Got what I asked for? All dozen lilies, like you said. One, two, uh... Yeah, looks right. Good. It's better have been worth your time. Because next time, you're taking him back in a jar. I'd pay him double. The, the, the Hanks for helping us out, mister. Miss Charlotte can't bend after the lilies like she used to. Just child. Charlotte, the half-tailed alligator, uh, struck Hank as someone who was good at trying to be scary, but didn't always stick the landing. As evidenced by Twiggy, her tadpole buddy, who by their mere tiny presence debunked any worry that Charlotte would actually try to fit Hank in her big boiling cauldron. That's the hope, at least. All right, Pip Squeaks. Yes, ma'am. Scram. Yes, ma'am. Jawohl. I'll just throw some random German into his beak to pretend like I doing that the whole time. I saw a festering blob of rot the other day. It was so pretty. Oh, I'm so glad I have tomorrow off. My throat is going to be shot after this. This is tough. There's a lot of characters. I thought this was a dead deer for a second. And you are not stepping one foot outside this stinking dump. Not one foot! Yes, ma'am. For a month! Yes, ma'am. Oh. The first rule of garba... Garbarchaeology is the cream always rises to the top. So make sure you dig deep down. The player is obviously the, obviously the right hand for the op of the operation. Her skill at finding the best stuff is only matched by her loyalty to the old rat. Anton the boss seems like a real hard ass. But I guess you gotta be in the business. Uh, you gotta be in his line of business. Wade would be closer to the left hand of this thing. Uh, useful in a limited capacity and only under strict supervision. Ah, so he's stupid. At least according to Anton. What a strange bunch. Uh, I've always said I've had enough of him. But then I remembered the advantage to having an extra pair of paws on hand. Plaques, uh, plaque for setting out on a wild goose chase? Exactly. You're welcome. Why is Hank making an angry face? Don't flatter yourself too much. You did what you had, uh, you did what you were told. But I suppose there's a, another end to this bargain. We always keep our word. They're opening up the dump. Nothing to lose, nothing to gain. Grab opportunity by the throat and show it who's boss. Hello again. Be part of the next exciting experience, enticing, escape, electrifying enterprise. Yes, you've said that. I'm already part of one. Welcome to the arid plains, the desiccated desert. We're sitting at a par in our parking lot. 
The wild wastelands. Fuck. I can't believe I'm following a fish suit around. The A24 is the main artery of the valley. When guitars hum, the tunes of old country roads. Country roads, take me home, West Virginia. This is the one they sing about. And this brand new premium habitation facility is the first and only stop for the brave explorer on the road. An oasis in an otherwise barren realm. There's literally a shop across the road. Make no mistake, adventurers can't be expected to live off a tent and trail mix. Totally can. They require the best amenities, which is the perfect point of expansion for your now chain of premium properties. I'm sensing a lot of cleanup work. You should always trust your senses. I don't want to start a new place though. Oh, I guess I kind of have to though. So every place is gonna have a different, okay. Well, I guess that's fine. Is that a rat? <laughs> I, what if I just give him, what if I just give him like a really normal voice? There ain't a smell in the world that can disgust me. I see you're already trying to prove. <laughs> oh no, I should do, um, oh, what's his face from, uh, uh, Gus from Breaking Bad in it? When you're a kid, cry because people tell you what you want, uh, tell you what to do. When you grow up, you cry because people don't tell you what to do. I just don't do anything. Worked out so far. Yeah, gotta build resorts to progress in the game, unfortunately. You have a lot of resorts. Huh? Okay, well. It's too bad it's not a little more free form. What the fuck did I just do? Whoops, that's the. Okay. Metal biker bear? Alright, well, I was gonna do that anyways, but. I thought there was something to pick up. Def definitely not the way to go. Okay. Well, thanks again for letting me know I have to build shit to progress. I guess I'll do it. What the fuck? Oh, right. I'm How's the construction site going? It's ready. Astounding. You're on your way to become the biggest hospitality developer on this side of the canyon. You are currently in position one out of one. Hey, that's not bad. It is certainly something. As a leisure expert, I'm sure that your senses are now precisely tuned to the next step in this possibly yet not probably profitable operation trick the humans in to come over trick the humans to come over i mean offer a valued customer a uh, room for lodging book a guest to the motel then return to receive completely unauthorized instructions on how to build bathrooms uh well i built the bathroom but
don't have any bathrooms there. This robot is a robo loser. <laughs> Why be in debt from a bank when you could just borrow from your future? <laughs> oh my gosh. I've got a guest on the way. Astounding. They are in for a surprise of a lifetime. Take that as you will. Roar. Because of our premium desert location, desert location, we are freely able to exploit a common resource to their benefit and our profit. I'm not sure who's exploiting whom. That's right. Water. Is mutual exploitation a thing? Due to our never-ending quest for patron excellence and unfortunate health and safety regulations, this location can support sanitary facilities, which are now a key expectation for any visitor of this location. Can you guess what the next step is? You sure say a lot of words, say very few things. Correct. You must now build bathrooms for your guests. Thank you. Lucky guests. I'm like falling asleep already. Uh, I I hope I don't need to like take a break, but I might need. To. I love capitalism and resorts. Woo. It's like mooching off, mooching off your own future. All right, there's the bathrooms. Amazing. Now that your guests' needs for immediate relief are met, we should turn our attention to the most important motivation behind renting a room in this motel. Being comfortable? Taking some time off? Re repression. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was my third guess. Recognizing the insight into customers' motivation towards your product is a key detail of modern marketing. We're doing the thing again. Why would or why would anyone stay in this scum hall? Hey, I've put a lot of work into this place. That's right. Running away from what you can't escape. Shady pawn. Uh, shady pawn shop debt collectors? yourself that's a little dark which is the perfect opportunity for one of our most popular facilities a bar that's horse but not just any bar a tasteful sophisticated establishment a distillery oh my god how refined Again, I'm sorry if I'm yawning already. I I just have to go lay down for. Nope, chat's not too angry at me with that, but. Blood sugar's normal. Tired.
only be placed in a bar, eh? Okay, well. Uh, where's the bus stop around here? Oh. Hey. Er. In the middle of the desert, in a rundown metal shack, lived Gus, most handsome possum. An awesome possum in A24. It seemed like digging through junk was the main activity around here. He was no rookie. Although, by the looks of it, Gus's primary concern remained his charm and driving wheel. Oh, hello. Mm, I'm Hank. Okay. Who are you, Gus? Nice to meet you, Gus. Yes, it is. What do you do, Gus? Not much. You don't seem to talk a lot either, Gus. Don't need to. That's fair. Well, I just wanted to introduce myself. Not exactly putting your best foot forward there. But I've only got the two. Better start diversifying then. I think you're being a little rude. You're right. You're actually perfect. Thank you. What's with all the people? Actually, I might have a hand in that. Good. They got the best food and baubles. And they scare easily. A jerk's dream. You don't seem like a jerk to me. Hey, watch your mouth, buddy. You don't take kindly to those types of words. Anyways, they use to roam all over the place. Reminds me of chickens. Stinky, floating around. Afraid of their own shadow. Only stopping for the occasional turd. Living the dream, really. Well, you might want... You might start seeing more of them again. Doesn't bother me none. As long as they don't stink up the place. And maybe don't burn down the joint as well. All they... All they left last time was a scorched sandwich and half a toilet. Fire almost got my little driving wheel too. I love my little wheel. Worst part is sandwich turned out to be a pinky leather book. Ask me how I know later. How do you know? You're not really playing with a full deck, are you? I don't really like gambling, lad. You've got a nice, thick skin on you. That or your thickest gravy. Either way, I respect it. Thanks. I like your skin too, I think. Hey, what did I say about saying stuff like that? We don't do that around here. So what's your cheeky boy like you creeping around people for? I'm not creeping. I'm helping. Right, right. So, making some extra beans on the side. Getting a kick out of scaring the little mustaches off. I think they're pretty neat, and I like the building part. And my buddy, Will, isn't too upset about the money. Bah. What are you going to use it for? Buying food? <laughs> How come you live out here in the middle of nowhere? I prefer it this way, or that way. Just me. My diddly little self and I. Why would you describe yourself like that? Ah, get it? You seem pretty cool to hang out with. Alright, enough. One more word like that and I'm done with you. This guy's weird. Why am I hearing Beavis and Butthead with these characters? Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, well, I can't even activate the jukebox. Are you shitting me? Oh, boo. Okay, I need to find that thing. In the jump complete. Congratulations. Improving your... Barely above minimum expectations. This will now have a higher expectation for this location. Oh, uh, really? <gasps> I got pants! I got some pants! Look at me go. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my god, Hank's got some pants. Let's go! 
Let's go! Looks so cute. Look at me, Ma. I've got pants. Oh my god, his little tail sticks out at the back. That's amazing. Holy shit. Best game ever. Yeah, about the Foxhole update, everyone losing their minds about planes, but all I want for Xmas is to freaking drop into Normandy with the boys. Yeah. I hear ya. Everyone wants to do that. What kind of compliment can I give Gus? Are you done with your nonsense? Actually, underneath that drop you your speaker room. Sorry, I ever said anything nice about you? I'm sorry I ever said anything nice about you. Then make sure it never happens again. Oh. What is your problem exactly? I told you not to say things like that. I'm actually the biggest jerk you've ever met. And you're probably the biggest one I've ever met. What? Okay. The quest, apparently. Participants in the Pond Voyage and Pond Cruise programs agree to waive th their any claims for participants' personal injury or wrongful death. The most sophisticated distillery is ready. Excellent. You are one step closer to solidifying this establishment as the premier watering hole in the entire desert. Couldn't have asked for anything better. As we are near the consolidation of yet another premium property, we obviously need to make sure our rigorous standards are met. Obviously. To that degree, you will need to satisfy a series of criteria. Well, on my way to doing that, I need more... Hey, Stone Whale, thanks for the follow. You'll apologize if I'm a little low energy. I am um, just really tired all of a sudden. I went out for a drink and dinner with friends earlier, but like, I feel like I should have the energy. But I don't know. Put all the energy into those voices earlier. Embarrassing to me. I didn't even play that much in the last war. Yeah, but Blizzard is fun. Oh, I had to take like a 10 minute nap midstream though. Just a very tiny bit on the high side, but like I'm fine. Oh, why I'm so sleepy, dang it. And I know that pointing that out didn't like make it any better. No good to Diamond Little Rat! The gate's open, what do you want? N -n nothing I was just about to... I'll tell you what, there's no respect in the top-down criminal organization business anymore. What's the point of having boot lickers if there ain't no passion for boots? Or licking! Maybe the flavor isn't great. <laughs> Whoa, man! <laughs> oh, they actually used that text font, holy shit! Maybe the flavor isn't so great. I oughta turn you into boots and see what flavor comes out, eh? Bear flavor? You should really stop testing my patience and get to the top. There's a bag of doorknobs back there you might want to get along with. I hope they like me. There! Get this bird brain briefed on the garbage grinder. Maybe we get lucky and he falls in. Holy shit. 
Wow, what an asshole. Oh, she's in the other... <laughs> what do you want, bird brain? Panton said something about door knobs? You don't get to address the boss like that. He's boss to you. Oh, sorry. Boss said something about doorknobs? He sure did. Look, you gotta be careful around the dump. It's not a playground, especially around the garbage grinder. That'll rip your do you doorknob right off. Your door. I think that's a spelling mistake. Then I couldn't open any doors. Listen, you can throw in any furniture you built yourself into the grinder. It'll wreck it, but you can salvage some of the materials. Around half, give or take. I'll pick take. <sighs> just don't get your hand stuck in there or you'll lose it. And we can't have ripped limbs just laying around anymore. Or else the boss is gonna lose it. My hand. I'm not talking to you anymore. <laughs> He's so stupid, characters just stop talking to him. Uh, well, I don't really have anything I want to destroy, but I'm gonna loot the, uh, the garbage dump. <laughs> Wait, she's the thing in the drawers? Yeah. She's... Actually, I think she's in the mid drawer. Not quite the bottom drawer, but yeah, close enough. Yeah, no, this... Everything in this game is adorable. It's great. I'm just collecting garbage. It ain't much, but it's honest work. No water. No comp- What the fuck? What are you talking about? What the fuck? What is going on? But it's- I have a specialty room! What are you talking about? Does it have to be attached to her room? I'm so fucking confused. I thought this was a public washroom. What? Oh, I really hope it doesn't need to be. God dang it. I wish I'd known that beforehand. <laughs> <laughs> 